Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm here today to share with you my event experience at the Louis Vuitton Savoir Fair in New York City. This happened in mid-April 2024, so in case you guys are looking to attend or you're in the area, it might maybe reach out to your essay to see if there's still space. This event runs until May 5th, 2024, so I'm trying to post it as soon as I can in case you are interested. After checking in at the front, we got to the cafe area on the first floor where they served us little mini madelines, eclairs, juice, champagne, coffee, whatever you'd like. Then we proceeded upstairs to look at some really pretty items. There are a total of seven floors in this house. The first place that we went to was the jewelry. It looks beautiful. There were so many gorgeous pieces and um, this area was also where the watches were if you didn't realize. Louis Vuitton now has an in-house watchmaking capability and Nathan being the watch geek he is was all over this area. I got to try on some really pretty pieces of jewelry, some of which I don't think I would ever be able to try on. Um, there was this expert um, putting it on for me, as well as someone holding the light to see it sparkle. Look at that mirror. It's like the Louis Vuitton monogram. This one was so pretty. I don't know when I would ever wear it, um, but it was good to try on. It was an interesting design. It's for pierced ears, but you do have a cuff holding area. On the next couple floors are my favorite places, which is where the handbags and accessories are. I found some really beautiful, unique leather pieces. Um, a lot of these I already have the style of, but there are a few that I don't currently have the style of. So I tried on everything that looked fancy. I mean, this is kind of the event for that. You can see the Sahara leather here. There was an area where you can create your own bags. I didn't end up doing that, but it looked really cool. I loved seeing the layout of the house with all of the Louis Vuitton decorations in it. Everything was perfectly displayed and just so magical. If you couldn't tell, I was pretty into this bag. It looked like a mini twist in a lizard finish, but it has like a sheen pink and yellowy tone. It's beautiful. I was very attracted to it. There were minks at this event, which I did not try on. I did try on this pink bag, which matched my outfit quite nicely. There was also this petite mall with a top handle that looked really interesting. And of course, this croc multicolor pastel. Oh, what a dream. This painting was borrowed from a museum. There were actually two in this house. On the next floor, we also saw a lot of trunks that included mahjong, cigars, and poker sets. Here's the other painting. We also saw a set of jackets designed by Pharrell Williams. Apparently all of it came in a trunk and cost like a million dollars. Um, it was all one size only, but yeah, it was really cool to see. Outside of this top floor was a little area where you can look out. The weather was really nice, so we stepped out for a second. Then we deliberated on what we wanted to get at another floor. I tried on so many things, so I really wanted to take some time to decide what I actually like. In the meantime, we had some food and coffee and tea. These little hors d'oeuvres were so tasty. Nathan was debating on watches again. This bag was also sitting near the area, so I took a look. Which one do you think looks better? We did make purchases, so I will be unboxing it on my channel soon. Make sure you subscribe, stay tuned. I wanted to say that I had a great time and my essay even took us out for a quick lunch. Look at the tasty pasta. I hope to be back soon again, but until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.